Welcome to the SpinFar Professional Training Demo. In this section, we will continue working with assemblies. First, we'll show you how to add a new assembly. With your model open, go to the tree and select the main part. Select the new assembly icon and key in a new name. Here, we'll use Rotor Assembly and hit Enter. Now, we'll move the appropriate objects into this new assembly. We'll select Break Rotor 1 and drag it down, and then we'll select Test Part 1 and Test Part 2, both at the same time by using the left mouse and Control. Now we'll right-click on Rotor Assembly and only show that. Now right-click on Scene and select Show All Parts. Now we'll show you how to create exploding views, but first let's create a starting view to save the current location. Under Views, select New View icon and key in Start for the view name. Now go to the assembly and right-click on Break Caliper 1. Go to Transform and then Translate. Type in 75 in the Translate Y and click Preview to see what the transformation will look like. Select Apply when you are satisfied and then OK. Now we'll save the translation as a new view. Under the Views tab, select New View icon again and key in Explode. Now select the Start view and it will return to our beginning position and then Explode. Now we'll show you how to create an exploded view animation. Going back to the assembly, under Rotor Assembly, select Break Rotor 1 and go to Transform and Handles. This opens the Transformation Control box with gray handles around the object. Use the gray dots to drag the object to where you'd like. We'll drag Test Part 1 as well. And notice when you drag, a label displays the distance that the object is being dragged. You can also right-click on the part itself and find the transform handles. We can also rotate individual parts. Select the axis key in an angle, and again you can preview what the transformation will look like before selecting Apply. When you are done, to save this new exploded geometry, go back to the exploded view, and under Geometry, select Update Geometry. Now select the start view we previously created, and you will see the parts moved back to their original starting point. And when you select Explode View, the parts will go to where we move them. You can also create a view that shows parts changing color. Go to the Assembly tree and right-click on Break Caliper Outside One Part and choose Color. Pick a new color for this part and select OK. Now we'll create a new view and call it color. Now select start and you will see the color change. We can also create a view that shows parts hiding. You can select a part directly on the model and click hide. Now go to views, create a new user view, call it hidden part and select OK. Now when you select Start, the part will reappear, and when you select Hidden Part, that part will disappear. 